What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk with you about something that most of the people on social media and specifically most of the traders on social media will never share with you. Although it might not be a perfect situation for a celebration, it turns out to be a great lesson on forex trading. So stay tuned and check out what I'm talking about. Yo, good morning everybody and welcome back to this week's first Forex Market Analysis. So without further ado, let's just start with the USD CAD. I just got to announce the date. It's the 18th of March, 4, 4 in the morning GMT time zone. Uh, no, 3.3.30 GMT time zone and uh, I'm going to go through six pair portfolio, which is USD CAD, Aussie CAD, Aussie dollar, Euro dollar, pound dollar and pound yen. So let's just start. This is a trade that we took last week uh, on a Friday and let's see what do we got now. So by the way, if you don't know, there was another golf here, XJA, A to B, B to C, C to D, which is about to hit targets too, if you ask me, but I'm not, I was not allowed to uh, get in that Gartley. Yeah, it almost hit target too. Look, or it did already. Uh, I did not get, I, I didn't get my conditions to, uh, to get in the Gartley because the, my entry point would be, uh, uh, would be this candle right here, here at this price point. But this candle did go overbought over 70%, as you can see right there. It was 81, so I was not able to get engaged. Yeah, but what I see now is this. I'm gonna remove my previous can uh, previous uh, triangles, and I see this. This might be something. So we might have another bad pattern here. Like X to A, A to B. B to C and then C to D completion right there. So if that happens, I will have to take it. Let me just mark, uh, put my reminders on. So if the price action, oh, why did I do this? If the price action comes here, I need to set myself the alarm. Sorry. There you go. To put a pending order here. Yeah, that's it. And I, I'm going to put a pending order only if the price action goes overbought and oversold. Yeah, so let's move forward. Aussie CAD. What do we have here? We need to have for bats. We might have a bat pattern X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D. Let's see, do we have one? Yeah, we're hitting 50. We're hitting 50, but I don't think we will get 50% retracement here. So I don't think this is a bad pattern. And I let, let me see, can I, no, I don't have it. Okay. Yeah, so it's not even hitting the 30. It's touching the 38, but it's not, this is not a bad pattern. This is not a bad pattern. So besides this and this pair, I don't see anything else, to be honest. I don't see anything else. Yeah, so I will stay out from everything else. Well, if I see something new, I will definitely let you know. But for now, I don't see anything. Let's move forward. Aussie USD. Yeah, nothing here. Nothing here. I'm actually thinking this. This right now, this is in, uh, in a bull trend, in a bullish trend. Aussie USD is in a bullish trend. And what I would be expecting for the price action if I were to trade this. Uh, and I will soon. I will soon. I'm in the process of backtesting just to need to wrap up the ciphers. The price action to come down here. In the, actually in this kill zone here. And then uh, move up. That's, that, that's the whole idea and what I think is going to happen. But we will see. You never know. You never know. Then we have Euro dollar last week. Uh, we didn't get any opportunities. Some people took this. Uh, I think it was a bad X to A, A to B, B to C, but we did not. And uh, well, here we got something. I think there was something for somebody in Asia session. X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D. That was a Gartley last week, but it was a losing Gartley. Uh, no, it touched 78.6. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember. That was not a Gartley. That was not a Gartley. 
besides this, yeah, we might have a bat. X to A, A to B, B to C. Let's see what will happen if we do not, we do not violate the A point. But I will take this slot here. So we have X to A, A to B. Yes, X to A, A to B, B to C, and C to D completion right there. So if the price action comes here, I'm don't gonna take the bat pattern. Let, let me put my triangles on. There we go. Also need to put the reminder. So let's let's put the reminder. Oh, yeah, let's do it this way. Okay, so we have two potential trades: pound, dollar, nothing, nothing, nothing here. But there is a similar thing on pound yen from last week that I left it and looks like this might get triggered okay so i don't think there are any yeah i can trade this so i i need to set my target uh, set my pen, pending orders so let's see 691 uh 671 is my pending order six i'm trading like this 671 stop loss take profit we'll play with this a little bit later new order uh 671 place okay good so i need to set i need to uh set my uh target target levels let's see this <coughs> my stop loss first i'm 113 so come on yeah and now we need to set up my profits which is 691 okay so roughly here and we profit to 61 yeah so this is it this is my trade for today that i'm already planning to get in if if that happens uh I'm, you see i'm one one pip or so above Okay, there we go. A pip above uh, a target just to you know to make sure for a spread and all of that stuff. But yeah, this is it, guys. This is what I see on pound yen, on pound dollar, nothing. Then we have on euro dollar a potential bad pattern as well. Aussie USD, we don't have anything. I believe there was a where is the pair from it last week? Uh, there was the oh yeah, the cipher pattern from last week is the x to a i think it targets one x to a a to b b to c c to d and i believe that pattern did hit targets one yes and now reversing would hit my stop losses so x to a somebody took 30 pips home on the aussie caddy uh cypher pattern yeah i just wanted to share this with you there is nothing else here uh yeah there is this pair we will see this is this going to happen or not uh, actually i think it will so yeah but i need to check out okay so yeah with that being said i think that we are gonna get some action today so i will be def definitely uploading the afternoon session and yeah if you like this kind of a content i do this on a daily basis if there is some kind of an action if we do have some kind of a trade then i will upload the video if not there will not be any video um, on youtube and if you like this kind of a content, yeah, consider subscribing, hit that like button, smash that bell button, share the video, let's help as many people as possible, and see you soon in the afternoon session. Bye-bye. All right, so hi guys, and welcome back to the afternoon Forex Market Analysis. It's the, what is it, uh, 3.35 GMT time zone, and although I said that I'm not going to record and upload videos when we get no action, uh, I'm making the exception because uh, there was no, we didn't took a single trade today, but um, it, again, there isn't one lesson that I think it's beneficial for everybody watching this video. And that would be this one here, right here. And because a lot of tra traders fail at this point. So look at this. So this in the morning session on the USD cat pair, I said that if we get X to A, we, we got the X to A, A to B, B to C and C to D completion around this price point here, but price never came that much down. As you can see, I did put my, you know, uh, alarms, you know, 
to remind me to put my pending orders. I did put my pending orders to pips before uh, this price point here, but even though uh, price came like a pip to my pending orders, I did not get activated. If I did, I would be in profit for what? I think around 50 pips. I did calculate this today. Let me just check this out. So it's like 38. Yeah, 27 pips to target one. Then we had some kind of a stall here, and then it would be like what? Uh, 43. So it would be around 70 pips actually uh, on this single trade. But I did not get activated. I'm not pissed about it. I'm just, you know, it's okay. You miss some, you win some, and you lose some. The, the single most important thing in trading is that you win more than, than when you lose or the, uh, more often and that you have a better risk to reward ratio so that overall when you sum all of the winners, all of the losers and the scratch trades basically something like this, you end up being in positive. And that's all there is to trading. Trading is very simple, but it's not easy because a lot of we people are emotional human beings and a lot of times emotions come into play and then we make um, bad decisions because of those emotions, because the fear of missing out or something like that. And that's the, exactly why I wanted to show and upload this video to tell you that you don't need to fear of anything. You just got to go uh, load the data up, backtest a bunch of stuff and just stick to your plan. Uh, besides this, um, the, for the entire day, we didn't get much. This turned out not to be a bad pattern after all, because this didn't uh, touch the 38 retracement. And besides this, Aussie USD, nothing. Euro dollar, we did not get the target, did not get, you see, the alarm did not get hit. So I'm going to close it. Then we had a pound dollar breaking, not, nothing. And a pound yen. I had a pending order here, but, you know, price came up. And then went down so nothing else because uh, besides this small lesson on a, on a fear of missing out and on sticking with your trading plan and with, the, with that being said if you like this content if you're new here consider subscribing and do this on a daily basis if there is some kind of an action and I also do some kind of a other educational videos when it comes to finance and forex trading stocks etc etc thank you very much for staying until the end of this video and speak to you tomorrow bye bye